Well, hello there. Welcome back. This is Castlin. You may have seen me on the wisecut.video review, and now I am here again to do a wisecut.video walkthrough. So let's just go ahead and get into it, and we'll start right now. Okay, so wisecut.video, you'll enter this screen here. Let's just go ahead and sign in. For me, I am already there, and it's going to bring you to this page, which is going to be your project page. Let's go ahead and ignore this video that has already popped up. It's not the cutest, but it'll bring you to your project page. Uh, as you can see here, there is a chat box if you do need any additional questions or help. Hopefully I will answer all these questions for you so you don't need any additional questions or help. But this is your page here. You can go ahead and just hover. We have your home, new projects, current project list, uh, additional media that you'd like to upload and questions and help. So I'm going to go ahead and I made a little tester sample video. So we'll go ahead and start a new project, select new project, add media. And as you can see here, you have your limitations depending on whatever package you have. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my video. Okay, these are very quick little sample videos that I made, so they took a very short amount of time. So go ahead and upload those. Of course, if you don't like it, delete and select upload. Now it's just gonna take a few moments here and really, really quickly, once it does upload each video to 100%, what I do like is you can use this option to automatically put them in the correct order. That way, once it starts transcribing and your subtitles, everything's gonna be in the correct order that you want. Wow, this was, I mean, these videos are really short, so this is gonna be a, a very quick video to, to work on. Okay, I have actually already labeled my videos, so it's pretty standard for me, but if you did wanna add any additional video, all you would do is select add video. But I'm done, so I'm gonna go ahead and select next. Name your project, test video, spoken language of the video, uh, for mine is English. These are, I believe must be all of the languages that they can transcribe. And then you have your, oops, your options to select what you would like this video to do. Again, I think for the sake of this video, I'm going to turn all of the features on. We have smooth cuts, auto silences, cut those out. We don't want those. That's kind of for me, the main purpose of using Y cut, wise cut, smart background music, if you hover on all of these info screens, it's gonna tell you exactly what these features do. And that's one of my favorite things about WiseCut is I feel like it's very user friendly. There isn't a lot of guessing involved. It pretty much tells you exactly what these features are. Um, auto ducking. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow the music to play in the background and when I have some silences, Auto punch in, we'll be punching in and out as if I'm using multiple cameras. I think that feature is really cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do background noise canceling and I think that let's just go ahead and do burned in captions and create your project. Okay, so this is probably gonna be one of the longest portions of the video. It's honestly really not that long of a time period, but think of what Wisecut is actually doing. It is taking all the silences out of your videos, it's adding subtitles, it's putting it in the correct order. So it will take a little bit of time, but this is what I think is really great is I can have this software working on my video where I can go do laundry or something else. So that's why I think it's really cool. And uh, you will receive an email notification when your project is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hang out and wait for that email and do something else. Okay, I just wanna show you guys really quick what it looks like. I went over to my project list. You can see that my video here is still processing. Again, this whole video of mine is maybe, maybe a minute at max. So it is working on that. Of course, uh, these are all my other projects, which we're not gonna go into, but it is working on my project right now. Okay, that was fairly simple. So my project is completed. Let's go ahead and do the editing. You can see really quickly here, this allows for editing. And when it shows here, this means my project is done, it's complete, and I can go ahead and start sharing it. Let's go ahead and work on this project. So we open it up and it tells you exactly what it did. This one had 11 seconds of awkward silence, which of course is definitely awkward. Jump cuts, 
lines they had created and they chose a music which you can go ahead and adjust if you don't like it. So I'm going to edit this project. Gosh, my face. I'm sorry, guys. It brings you here already with your storyboards, translations. We'll talk about this. I think this is super cool. Music, so you can choose additional music, settings, and export. So here we have one of the most important things. I think it's important to hover over. Like I said, this is very user-friendly. Wisecut tells you exactly what all of these features are. There's no guessing, there's no wondering. The whole point of using a, you know, something like Wisecut is to save time and this will save you time. There's no guessing or wondering. So play this scene will allow you to play just this portion of the video. This one here is if you wanna play from this scene till the end into all of them. This one here, I uh, can go ahead and trim the scene. Volume, I'm gonna go ahead and select it because I have used this one quite often. This one lets you adjust the music for each individual clip that they have sectioned out. So uh, I'm actually gonna put this on low. Of course you can mute it, which maybe you have your own music in the video already. Low, and this will adjust the media volume, for example, me talking. So let's just go ahead and keep that at medium for this clip only. It takes just a second to again, render. All right, if we wanna duplicate this scene, maybe use it again for a second time. This allows you to change the scene type. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this again. I'm going to use this as the intro scene. I'm honestly really not sure how much of a difference this makes or not, but there's an option, so I might as well use it. And this feature here is edit subtitles, and I do use this one quite often. All I really honestly said was this is the intro portion of the video. There's no adjusting here, so I'm going to go ahead and just say, okay, great, yay, hooray. Or you can add, you know, whatever else you'd like to add. Click yay. Um, it does have to render after every selection. Okay, moving on, we have this next feature here, which is the scissors, which I do like this as well. This allows you to obviously, I don't want this line, um, let's just go ahead and cut it and uh, basically cut your scene. Uh, otherwise, I think this is fine, so I'm just going to pretend it doesn't exist and moving on. Let's see if we select it again. Perfect. And we have, I guess, the intro scene I don't really think I have any adjustments here. Let's go ahead and change the scene type to outro. Okay, and I think that's pretty much my adjustments. Let's go ahead and just play the scene the entire way from the beginning all the way to the end, which is going to be this option right here. I don't know if this you guys will be able to see it. Intro portion of the video. Sorry, middle section loud. of the video. Ending. It or walks you through. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, that is it. Okay, so now that my video is complete, I am going to go into the translations. Now, so now the translations is something I would highly recommend doing after you have completely edited these subtitles in your storyboard because it's using those specific translations and writing and words, whatever it is that you have in your video, it's gonna be using that to translate. So if you have spelling errors or something is not done correctly, it's not gonna be done correctly in your translated, what is it called? Translated subtitles. So you wanna make sure that's complete. All right, so right now it looks like we have the options for Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, French, and German. Let's just go ahead and do Spanish and translate. And this will do its thing. It should take a couple minutes. Let's go ahead into the music section here. I have, done the AI smart music selection. So it has already selected a song for me. I personally don't care right now. So beach party sounds great. Um, otherwise you do have the options to select your music. Obviously here you can search again. It tells you the different genres, themes, instruments used. Uh, you can test them out by, you know, just selecting here. Sounds lovely. I don't want that, but I'm just going to keep it here. If you did want to change it, the music, all you would do is select the box and it'll go ahead and change. Now, this next section moving on here is your settings. Now, this is where you're going to want to make sure you have everything set up before you go into the next section to export. 
my video test video sounds great send notifications this is i think super important because if you're off doing laundry or whatever it is that you're doing you're going to get a notification when your video is done uh here's the features i do have i do have all these selected again you can go ahead and select auto cut settings and make further adjustments so that's a great feature i have the music volume for the entire project on medium scroll down media volume settings uh, again medium with the auto ducking i believe i can turn this off if i want but i think that i'm going to go ahead and keep it on so whatever you selected in the beginning of course you can always make adjustments here apply we're good here auto enhancers and i believe someone did ask in my review if there was a possibility to change the font colors well there is i just wasn't aware of it at the time so you do have the font colors select here and you have different options um white sounds fantastic border colors selected again uh, i guess you could do purple or whatever options for a drop shadow which i think you can see yeah you can see the difference here so there are the options for changing the font colors in case you're doing a video that happens to uh <laughs> video right there my settings look good so i'm going to go ahead and go to the preview and export now if you did want to go ahead and see what everything looks like before you export i would suggest doing a quick render um i'm not going to for the time being but here you want to make sure you have your video in the format and size that you are making your video for so we do have hd depending on whatever tier you have whichever plan i'm gonna go ahead and do 4k because i'm very excited to have that option and your aspect ratio so if you guys are doing video youtube we have instagram which is a square portrait landscape i'm gonna click landscape because i think that's a pretty standard video format size and let's go ahead and export yeah, we're going to take a break from staring at that face for a little while. It doesn't let you choose which frame it stops on, obviously, because I wouldn't choose that one. But for the most part, it's uh, processing and you will receive an email when your video is done saying to download. Or, of course, we're going to go back into the program to show you where it's at. So it's taking a couple minutes here and your video with complete subtitles music audio is being worked on and i'm sitting here doing nothing talking to you guys what's up okay we're back uh in the meantime while my video was being processed i played on instagram and did a whole bunch of nothing so let's get back and to show you where we are at now okay so we are at the final page here i love this integration that they have where you can export your video automatically to youtube that saves a lot of time. And of course, with WiseCut, you can obviously store your videos in the program. Let's say you don't want to do that. You do have the option to download your finished video. Your subtitles and your transcripts are going to be here. Or if you have any uh, additional things you would like to do, you will have to reopen your project. This does take a little bit of time, and then you will have to go through the process of rendering and working on your project again. However, no big deal because you've already saved so much time with WiseCut editing your video for you. So I am going to export this sample video to YouTube, which I'm probably gonna end up deleting, so don't look for it. Just as an example, let's do test video, description stuff, and let's go to private here. That way I can go into YouTube later and add my tags or any additional things that I did wanna add to my video. So. Preview and export, done. And that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see if we can watch the video here. This is the can you guys intro hear? portion of the video. Good old subtitles. Of the video. Ending or outro. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. I absolutely love this program. I think it is such a time saver. I'm able to create so much more content knowing that I have basically an assistant here working on projects for me so if you guys have any additional questions or anything you'd like to chat about know about go ahead and leave it in the comment section below otherwise go on create your videos and i will see you on the next walkthrough